Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Stand Up for Geeks, filmed in beautiful downtown Gresham with your host, Tristan Spillman. Me. Hi. How's everybody doing? So glad you could tune in. Uh, today's topic is aliens. So, um, aliens always makes me think of the movie Alien Mine. That's one of the, the first movies that I ever really got deep into when I was a, a young man, thinking about the, the psychology behind that. What a great pioneer opportunity that would be to not only meet a new culture, but like break down the language, understand each other, just, just through experimentation. It was an interesting, it was just an interesting concept. I, I really liked the idea. I, I had that opportunity almost one time in life. Uh, I was working, um, they hired a new guy. And uh, they all just assumed that he spoke Spanish because he spoke Guatemalan, and so he didn't have anybody else to talk to. So I got stuck with the weird guy, me. So that's fun. Um, but I was like, I was like, hey man, come on, I'll, I'll, we'll fill vending machines. I'll teach you some English. He was really excited about that. He's like, Will you teach me? And I was like, yeah, I'd be happy to teach you. It was like we had our own little enemy mind. I finally had that experiment where I was teaching him through everything, you know, like all the, you know, cart can terminology we filled vending machines in prison shank we went over that you know <laughs> we learned the important spot the, the only problem was is about uh, two weeks into it he kept asking me for terminology questions on how things were properly phrased he'd be like uh, i i uh i wear her uh ass for hat <laughs> yes I, I take her ass and put it on my head and i'm like no that's the no i didn't teach you that that's not what this was for but yeah so yeah i i learned through deep uh deep conversation and deep contemplation that uh he was a little pervert that's what happened <laughs> he's a little he's a little weirdo so um yeah all right, so uh, we're going to talk about aliens all night. We thought we'd start off with some stand-up comedy. He's a bit of an alien expert. Big round of applause for Robert Gresham, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming, Robert. Thank you. So my name is Robert. I, uh, I grew up playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. Anyone else play Dungeons and Dragons here? Yeah. It's a pretty weird game, right? Weird hobby. It's not as weird as how I learned how to play Dungeons and Dragons. See, my name's Robert. I was taught by my friend Robbie. And our dungeon master was an older kid named Rob. <laughs> and he made us play with our shirts off. <laughs> he said it made us more like Conan the Barbarian, but I'm starting to suspect otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I had to quit playing with those guys, though. Start catching too many colds. I think it's why I like those Fast and Furious movies so much. They're the best examples of a level progression in movies. I mean, in the first one, they're just running around, racing each other. You know, the last one, they're flying cars out of airplanes. <laughs> Plus, they take their shirts off a lot. <laughs> yeah, reminds me of those old days. I used to have a lot of dreams about alien abductions when I was a kid. Turns out that was just uh, me making excuses for my dad sneaking into my bedroom at night. <laughs> uh, it was completely my fault though. Even to this day, I still blame myself. I had way too many electrical things plugged in there. And that's where the breaker box was. <laughs> yeah, it wrecked my dad's Xbox experience, I tell you. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody, my name's Robert. That's been my time. Big round of applause for Robert Gresham, ladies and gentlemen. Next comedian we have coming up the stage is a very funny man based out of Vancouver, Washington. Big round of applause for Chris Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going, Chris. Right, happy to be here. And stand up for geeks, this is cool. Aliens, I'm familiar with that. I married one. Well, I mean, she's Mexican. <laughs> So she's not an alien anymore, right? Yeah, I guess how it works. She is fun. The, the family gatherings are always interesting. Family smokes a lot of weed. I mean, I smoke weed, it's cool. I went to a barbecue. There's a bunch of weed on the table in the backyard. Everybody's just sitting around the weed. I run up, I'm like, oh, sweet, who's got papers? <laughs> Yo, what did, what did I say? So confused. 
guys, this is all mine now. <laughs> it's great. A lot of alien stuff happens in my house. In fact, last night, I was having sex with my wife. And the uh, elusive sister of the fart showed up. She queefed. And I looked up at her, I was like, eh, what? <laughs> and she goes, oh, well, my, you know, my, my thing, thingy sneezed. Bless you? <laughs> I have no idea. Vajuntite? <laughs> I don't know, a lot of alien stuff. So, and that's, that's, you know, I'm glad to be here tonight. Thank you. I love it. I like how he finished. He's like, and nope, I'm done. That nice. I love how he signed out like he was like a card player, like <laughs> done. All right, uh, next comedian coming to the stage. He's uh, making a return. We're glad to have him back. Big round of applause for Daniel Daggers, ladies and gentlemen. Give it over, Daniel. So I think if uh, if aliens showed up today and were like, take me to your leader. Here's the thing. Uh, like, if you picked any other time in history, it would have been better. But, all right, you want to see him? Okay. Uh, we're going to have to find a translator. Um, they're like, no, we, we can speak English. It's like, yeah, but he can't. <laughs> so. There's, uh, there's people that like to call politicians, say that they're like, that some of them are aliens, or others are lizard people. I think Obama was too warm-hearted to be cold-blooded. But, but Trump, uh, I don't know. If you told me, like if we found out that Trump was actually aliens beta testing an AI on us <laughs> and he's still buffering, I would believe that. I would definitely believe that. Um, ancient aliens are a big deal. And uh, I, think, I, don't, I don't think I agree. Like just because there's some ancient pots that show what looks like astronauts on them that doesn't mean that they knew aliens. Like, in a few thousand years, are we going to look back on t-shirts from the 90s where there's aliens with skateboards and be like, proof that they exist and that they taught us the kickflip 360. Um, I love the movie Fifth Element. So good. And also, I think it proves that humans will never unlock the secrets of the universe. Because they were given the hand of this big roly-poly monster-looking alien, and they put it in their clone machine and made a really pretty lady. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, man, Dave didn't airplane mode his phone, and his search history really, <laughs> search history really fucked it up. Uh, we're all really happy with the results, though, so. <laughs> Um, Transformers are aliens, yeah? yeah? Yeah, okay. So, why, if, why are they called, if they're called Decepticons, that means that they should, like, that means they should not be deceptive, right? Those are the bad guys. <laughs> How do they travel through space but not know double negatives? <laughs> also, why are they hanging out? Like, what, what vested interest do they have in protecting the human race? I don't get it. Like, maybe they think we're cute. Like, and that would be the best thing. I think our best option is if aliens thought we were fucking adorable. <laughs> like, if I discovered a planet that was all kittens, I'd fight alongside them, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of adorable, uh, have you seen that there's this, uh, there's this new octopus that we've somehow discovered in the last decade that's got like big anime like eyes and it's so cute we should have known that was there like how did we miss that for so many years i think maybe aliens are just pranking us and they just keep adding animals <laughs> to this experiment that we're living and they're like no no shh, shh, watch 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 they're gonna act like it's been there the whole time <laughs> they love it, they love it. <laughs> all right thanks Keep it going for Daniel Tagris, ladies and gentlemen. We did research on that. That's a good job for him. All right, bring up uh, the first comedian we've ever had three times. Our first triple setter. Big round of applause for Stephen Ty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stephen Ty. Topic is aliens. 
It's a topic that's very dear to my heart. I'm with you on Fifth Element. That's one of my favorite things too. Like, and I like I like the thought process that the, the, they they made a really pretty woman. <laughs> but th this is gonna sound misogynistic. But even as a kid, I was watching it. And what what is the moment when the guy with the glowing eyes? The other's like, I told you, perfect. Like even as a 12 year old, I was sitting there like, yeah, she's pretty, but. <laughs> Oh, about perfect. Like, what are those, A cups? I don't, know about I don't know about that. Dude, I, I wish there was aliens. I, I hope there are. Like, I don't, I'd have a lot of questions for them, actually. Like, I don't know why. Like, like, they can travel at light speed through the universe from probably some unobservable point of the universe that we can't even see here, and they, they land in Montana. And like, <laughs> on top of that, like, I know that's a premise that's been done before. People talk about, like, why are they visiting that person? Like, I want to know where the butt probes thing came from. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they traveled from the fourth dimension, traveled through the universe, landed in Nebraska, and then probed Billy Bob. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think Billy Bob just likes butt play when he blacks out. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> Just woke up and was like, what is that? And it was like, uh, what happened to you, man? Like, I don't, aliens, I guess. I don't know, man. I think also at one point, I, I don't follow the news anymore. I checked down the news. I don't even listen anymore. But didn't NASA come out at one point and say, like, there's probably UFOs. We got this footage right here. And, like, where we're at in our country right now, everyone was like, we got bigger shit to do with. And, like, everyone just ignored NASA's UFO document they came out with. We've all been waiting from the, since the 50s for it, and we're all just like, eh. Yeah, Plus, aliens most likely don't exist because we know our president would have blown the whistle on that shit by now. <laughs> he so would have. Like, I'm going to be the one to tell everybody. No, I have. I've, I don't know about anyone else. I've checked out on the news. I'm done. I don't even care anymore. Okay. I, I'm done. I, I can't handle it anymore. But uh, I'm mad at the news for all the wrong reasons. Like, for example, I'm angry that they took the word radical from us. <laughs> they're just taking little bits of our childhood like remember what that word used to mean like cool and like badass like radical man radical. like now it's what radical extremists <laughs> that I, which I guess kind of makes sense because I suppose a synonym for radical might be extreme like, <laughs> kind of works I remember when the term liberal used to just mean how I applied my butter <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the news anymore. I'm just waiting for the one day where I'm going to tune into CNN and Wolf Blitzer's going to be sitting there going like, we are receiving reports from the crash site, the bomb site, where 15 are wounded. And according to eyewitness accounts, the bomber, before detonation, shouted, cowabunga. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it, ISIS! Leave the Ninja Turtles out of this! <laughs> I can't handle that anymore. I don't know. The one thing I do like about uh, what the news has done, they've taken too soon, guys. That's not a thing anymore. I love it. Because we need to process it right now. We need to process it right now. We can't handle that. We can't do this whole, like, just let it breathe, man. Just wait till tomorrow. Like, just give it some time. Just wait too soon. Nope. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow, guys? <laughs> I guarantee you, we're going to wake up tomorrow and they'll be like, well, according to I want to count, uh, Peter Dinklage visited the White House and Trump handed him a lollipop. And it's just Trump going, like, what? People don't like lollipops? It's like, how does he not know? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe in aliens. I think that's everyone just uh, being scared of being alone, you know? It's the same reason, like, believing in God, I think. I like, prefer to believe in gods, like, plural. I like that shit. Believe in it. I, like, I had a theory. What if there's a, a, a collection of gods, right? And they all run and shit. Like, they all have their own universe to run. And our god is just one that, like, uh, uh, like every other god has a universe and every single planet is just teeming with life. There's, they have spaceships. They've, like, repelled. They've, like, gotten over society problems and everything. And our god is the one sitting there going, like, I got one! <laughs> like, I got, look, they're doing... I, I don't know what they're doing, but like, <laughs> that one's throwing poop at that one. I don't know. Like, our God's like a 40 year old divorcee that eats mac and cheese and watches a lot of Thundercats. <laughs> like, that's our God. That's what I choose to believe in. You choose to believe in whatever you'd like. Have a good evening. Keep it going for Stephen Ty, ladies and gentlemen. All right.
We'll be back right after this. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're, we were our topic this uh, this fine evening is, of course, aliens. So um, I got a, a pretty universal question that works for just about any traumatic situation. So it works just as well for aliens. Aliens land. Do you go out and greet and meet, or do you beat feet and get out of there? What is your what's what's you guys? You guys answer first, and why? I definitely go greet them. Meet yeah, them. I Chris? will go armed. <laughs> oh, you go and oh, meet absolutely. them armed, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you'd like go in, like, and, <laughs> and, and but you'd yeah. still try to like be benevolent, or would you like? Oh yeah, I want to see. You, like, I'm, look, I'm looking for hot alien chicks. I'm yeah. looking for okay. hot alien chicks. So. <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I don't even know my neighbors, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't think I'm rushing out to meet some aliens. That That's a solid answer. I don't. I don't know spaceship. my neighbors. That's yeah. true. <laughs> I mean, my neighbor's got an SUV that's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> Still, I say hello. <laughs> yeah, I'd like, you know, maybe like watch him on TV a little bit first, yeah. you know, I think. Okay, so are you guys uh, <laughs> uh, as cynical as the, the rest of us? Or, or no, Chris, is, he's, he's going to go out there and do it. So yeah. we got a mix bag. What do, you, what do you guys got? I definitely go out and meet and greet him. Yeah, Just definitely. Just not sober. Not sober? Uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, is this every human? And I'm just like, welcome uh, to Earth, man. Yeah. <laughs> They so, smell uh, of alcohol. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you just, you, you're just going to gamble? Is it just worth the gamble? Is it worth the risk? Well, yeah. They just like, traveled at light speed through our universe and landed on Earth. And, like, if, it, if they had any, like, ill harm, they wouldn't, like, land down and walk out and be like, what's up? Yeah, you know? and if they, if they did have ill harm yeah. and they could walk out in front of everybody and be like, what's up? It wouldn't matter if we wanted to fight back or not. They would probably just be like, Psh. Yeah, that's true. And if, yeah, if you're going to land on an alien, because to us, like, land, still on, running, land on an alien planet and just walk out, just being like, let's check it out. They're obviously unafraid. Like, what are we going to do to them? Like, yeah. nothing. Might as well just say what's up. All right. All right, yeah, Daniel. I think, I think it really depends on who is what, who's ahead of me. So, right. like, <laughs> If he's walking up to him with a gun, or if he's drunk and walking up to him, I bail. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a solid, yeah, you'd be you back with information. Just like, if, it's, if I can get ahead, if I'm just like, oh, that person's really just gonna fuck it up a little bit, then I'll just get ahead of there. And just, oh, you know, because I don't want them to mess up the... How weird would it be if just like you got the, like, the phone call from whoever the authority would be to give that and be like, oh, we chose you to go first. They're like, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel Daggeris. Yeah. <laughs> of all the people on Earth, we've yeah. scanned everybody, and we've decided you. You're representing all of us. Get in there. Would you be like, wow, hooray? Or would you be like, um, no, thank you? I'd be like, I, what do you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, that's, what yeah. do you have on me? So yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'd use the same logic as like a bear attack. You just got to outrun your friend thing. You'd like well, cut I mean, their like Achilles this... heel and run off. <laughs> 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 that's a good idea. Just like take and then go back in the hills. Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't want them to have a bad first experience with us, but also there's oh, millions so of people who could talk to the aliens first and I can watch and see what happens. So I would probably prefer that. Yeah. But I also just don't want them to burn all our chances. So again, whoever's ahead of me. Right is, yeah. All right, Steven, what do you think is the most realistic depiction of aliens in film and or TV that you've ever seen? I think mostly because it's fresh on my mind, but... Uh... I just watched The Arrival recently. Mm, and that yeah. one I thought was the most realistic. Like, that's interesting, yeah. Like if they had all that technology, once again, they'd come down and just be like, what's up? And try and talk with us. But like that one, they're all just like, they just keep doing yeah, it. They're, they're just like, like oh, oh, come on, guys. Come on, man. It's just a little, like, <laughs> why can't they read it? They only see time forward. God. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, did I spoil her? Right? Yeah, and then they're just sitting there like, this <laughs> is walking. And they're just like, oh, just look at the symbol. Uh, that's what I see. I yeah, say just that's like really cool. frustrated, like yeah. trying to talk us through it. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably so. All right, you guys, what do you think? What's the most realistic? Can't steal his answer. You have to make up a new well, one now. That literally was. Yeah, I, was <laughs> I can uh, I can see your sorry. posture from uh, my peripheral <laughs> when he said your answer. You're like, yes, no, no, that's that's pretty so, much yeah. it. So uh, yeah, Chris, you got a different answer? Just to give Robert a couple of right, seconds. Stargate. Stargate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So because that's because like you like, know like them fooling us with our whole you know gods you know like yeah. you know what i mean or the pyramids acting as energy points in the earth and possible portals and you know hundreds of different reasons isn't and, there like a hieroglyph that looks like creepy like a land speeder for some whatever reason oh yeah yeah i mean actually in the actual hieroglyphics we have we have you know actual alien ships i mean people you, know, you look at some of the older ones there's pictures of ship like things in egyptian and then you even got even older stuff like you know atlantean type stuff and yeah yeah it's crazy, yeah. So, 
Yeah, it's like, I always thought it was kind of like, it seemed like alienish when you watched um, Stargate, and I was just like, oh, well, that makes yeah. sense. That, all yeah, this other I like stuff, how it like, kind of relates like, you know, to... Because, of course, it's like, you know, it's fiction, but but it's still, it, like, it, it's based off or of already it? stuff or that's mysterious beyond our... Yeah, that's true. You know? That's very cool. Are they just that's telling a solid us answer. the truth without telling us that they're telling us the truth? Yeah, yeah. I, like uh, that I think I'm going to have to go with that sure. Alien Nation. Oh yeah, that one? yeah, yeah. That <laughs> was I think a good like one. we would immediately figure out racial slurs. For right. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love an alienation when the when they, he finds out where the secret place to punch him in the balls is because he like punches him in the <laughs> yeah. crotch and the guy's just like, what's like his armpit? Like yeah. what's that his all armpit? about? Okay. Is it armpit? Yeah, that's weird. We had the, the tattoo armpit. heads, right? The tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was a, it was a movie first, and then it became a yeah, TV movie series. First. Yeah. It was one of the first that I ever see where it was a movie and then there was no sequel, but it became a TV series. And, and then, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Saltwater kill them? Yeah, yeah, Saltwater was like Earth, acid. 90, 90 whatever, whatever percent, saltwater. like, oh, come on. They were stealing Let's let here, we're gonna die. Right, right. It well, was all drugs. Uh, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like 80s, right? Uh, I'm gonna go for a deep cut. Uh, Slaughterhouse Five, the book. Ooh. Um, not because they're a bunch of hands with eyeballs walking around. Right. But the idea that if, if aliens haven't come here yet, and it's a long way to travel, then the idea of a fourth dimension alien right. just like correcting us on just like, here's everything out of time. Now you can understand all the things that are gonna happen in your life, fix it. Like, <laughs> I like that. I, I really think that's another healthy alien idea. And I think that would be really, that's so all powerful too. Like that, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that is an interesting idea that I've, I've had a lot of very smart people ask me like, what is more realistic that something's gonna be able to space travel through the intergalactic distances to be able to reach us, or they're just gonna step through from one dimension that's right, right next to you that you've never noticed before. Yeah. And maybe they're currently doing that, but we don't know it. Yeah. Like there's a guy over like a little like green guy on my shoulder, like, that's it, dude, come on, I'm right here. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, yeah. That's that very, like, very Lovecraftian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, it's, uh, not sure which story maybe, but that was an idea that these scientists, all right, we'll play this little music idea, and then, or put these glasses on, oh crap, we can see them, and then they see us now. Like, yeah. Are they supposed to see us? Rah! Yeah, they live. That was they another live, really, yeah, yeah that was going to be my answer, but nice. uh, yeah, I really, because Roddy Roddy Piper's in it, and he's a hero of mine. Mm. But uh, yeah, no, that was a really cool movie. I like the idea of they're already here, and they're the ones that are controlling us, that there seems to be some weird agenda that's going on, but it was oh, okay. actually just a really simple agenda. It was just like, eat, reproduce, be sedated, like it was like run it. creepy things out of pizza plants. Yeah, <laughs> that was one of the best fight scenes ever, too. I know, and I love it because they're they just like um, the Roddy Roddy was like trying to have him go through the choreography and everything mm -hmm. else like that, and it just didn't look realistic when he was pulling the punches because he's an actor, he's not a fighter, especially going up against Piper, mm -hmm. who's totally a fighter. And then Piper's like, okay, we're gonna do this one take, just punch me. He's like, I've been in the wrestling for like so long. He's like, I've taken enough punches. I'm not really that worried about it. And they like wow. pile drive each other on like the concrete and stuff oh. like that. So it's like, I think that like the rumor of that fight actually is kind of what inspired um, David Fincher in Fight Club. It's where it took them three days to film that scene. Oh, really? Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. So yeah, there was probably some bruised bodies after that. <laughs> I, I, I know that is a fact like though that he told them not long. to pull punches on it. So uh, Stallone told uh, Steve Austin the same thing in the first Expendables movie, uh, and uh, he uh, pile drivered him and broke his collarbone. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, it's like he watched his like took him out of the movie for like six months. <laughs> Stallone or yeah, Stallone, maybe yeah, no. he just jacked stuff. him up. Yeah. And, uh, coincidentally, at the same time, Arnold had gotten hurt. Arnold Schwarzenegger had gotten hurt in some other movie. So they were in the hospital together. <laughs> and they like, took pictures of her like, eh, look, our arms let's, are broken. Let's film a buddy cop movie yeah, while, we're, while we're here. Might so, as well. So Stallone was like, just hit me? Yeah, like, yeah. Steve he directed the first one. And so he's like. I'm 32, I wouldn't have someone just hit me. That's crazy. <laughs> he thought, he's like, oh, I'm all juiced up on HGH. You know, I can yeah. take this Stone Cold. He's a wrestler. He's not going to be hitting some yeah. square everyone. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and Stone know, Cold is up famous for turning his wrestling matches it? into, they call him shoots. Where he just like they turn into a fight. There's like a yeah. like the some of the the most classic fights between him and uh, Shawn Michaels are just they just just start beating the crap out of each other in the middle of it, and fans wow. are like yeah, so <laughs> it's fun. Cool. Okay, so uh, did you uh, gentlemen come up with any questions for this uh, this evening for for me to ask or for the other panelists? Didn't you have a, a question, I did. Daniel? Yeah, yeah. I, I like your question. What was your question? Okay, so my question is uh, if all alien life 
could be one of two different things. Mm -hmm. You could have all aliens are cute and at best a pet, mm -hmm. but that's as advanced as they are. Right, so we discover them. We discover aliens. Right, and they're not even Ewoks. They, they could be Ewoks. <laughs> they're sure. like well, Porgs. They're just like maybe, maybe yeah. Porgs. Yeah, so that seems like a good one. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, Ewoks will Or we yeah. discover that there's <laughs> aliens. You know, pit bull. Yeah. Right, go, no, go ahead. Yeah, no, or uh, second option, we discover that there's aliens, or I guess they discover us, and to them, we are so unadvanced that we're the pets. Right, so at, all other at, aliens at best are we can be pets. ahead of us, or all aliens are pets to us, but we don't, there's not parts of both. And we got, and we got an answer. Well, my answer would be to, to be depending on like what part of the world yeah. we're talking about treating pets. Because right, like, that's a good point. Here we're like, oh, oh little, cute little oh, pet I have. Give him his own little house. They're like, come on, pet, get ready to kill this guy, pet, go, oh, woo! Yeah. So that could be mm -hmm. what we have to deal with. You know? just gonna or you'd be up like, up. oh, we eat pets here. This <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, that's, oh, like, yeah. Right. that's like, you know, Ooh, we, yeah. we, we keep our food that we eat as honored. I would rather they were all cute honored, pets you know. that I could just but there's control nothing their advanced life. out there. Like then, if, like in that option, in that option, no we're one it. is more advanced than us. Yeah. So right, in yeah, the whole universe, you like that? That's okay. what I'd rather go with. Yeah. I think we're going towards a uh, immediate destruction of our whole society. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so a bunch of cute aliens to kind of like make that transition to yeah, yeah. Know, complete mm -hmm. devastation easier. I think. Okay. Nice. Some real life. Furbies. I'd rather be the pet. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I'd totally be like, yeah, dude, just feed me, bring me yeah. water. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys worry about all that political shit? I'm just gonna chill here. Like, You're like if you like, want more of me, I can do that. We yeah. Can, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put you in a mill in their backyard. Yeah. You, you need some more of these. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then, I mean, there'd be some repercussions too. Like if they want more of you, they're like, they're like, fuck that one. And I'm just like, no. Like, just like do it. I'm like, all right, you feed me. Slavery went down though. I think they did that in slavery. So. Well, I mean, <laughs> but. It, but like with pets, that's really disturbing because they're like, oh, we want ones that are like stunted and have yeah, giant yeah, eyes right. and weird like that. Smaller, that that would be the people that would like, eyes, you know, yeah. like we'd have like a whole race, like a whole herd of Danny DeVitos just exactly. running around. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, more. I'm adorable. Have right? they, have and that would be fine, I guess. That'd be okay. <laughs> Picture DeVito being rabid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I can nice. think of it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's Very nice. good. Very good. Yeah. All right, so uh, Robert, did you have a question you wanted to ask everybody? What special, what comedian special throughout time would you show aliens to be like, oh, this is kind of kind of what we are like? Yeah, if you had to choose like, one comedian, one comedian special, special. and in, out of all the specials that artists may have done, like just one, go, oh, this is kind of like what we're like. And we're going for a stand-up comedian, right? Yeah, you can't comedian. can't call an audible and be all like, oh, I'm gonna go with Queens, Bohemian Rhapsody, or something like that. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's or so sorry, just, so this is a comedian yeah, comedy, right? Yeah. yeah, Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. So uh, has anybody got a solid answer yet? Yeah, uh, uh, "Dress to Kill" by Eddie Izzard. Ah, good one. It's history, right? It's friendly, right? They're not going to hate us, right? Represents us well because he's yeah, pretty intelligent. Yeah. yeah, he's aware okay. of what all this means. He represents it's, it's both kind of a masculine and a feminine energy. So In you know, body. we only have one gender. Yeah. If we, yeah, I mean, and mm -hmm. also the absurdity of humans, like. The, the Stonehenge and all that. Also, it's good because we're telling them, like, we know. Oh. You may have been here before. So, well, yeah. We should have made you go last because ah. that's a really good answer. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And now everybody else is going to be like, damn. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're like, oh, mm. fuck that question. I would go with uh, Bobcat Goldthwait. Mm. That was a good I'd time. be like, that wraps up. Just, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. Did he, do, <laughs> did he do an entire, like, special? Was there a half hour of Bobcat one time? Wow. Wow. He has a he's reason, screaming he has a reason at people. Hour. I think it's a good Oh, yeah, yeah. But he's not he's not Bobcat. He's setting the bar really low. He's, Every human they he's meet Bob is like, oh, you're way better. Like, he's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a real human. The couch bobcat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that he did a really funny one where it was on, um, uh, I think it was Comic Relief, and he came out there and they, he did a cold shower. He, he got into a, did a cold shower hmm. while he did his entire comedy routine. So that was pretty funny. They were like wow. pumping ice cold water in the whole time while he was. Wow. And he was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> so if you could, if if aliens would give you the technology to fix climate change, yeah. But you had to birth a chest burster. Oh, but you would live through it. Okay. Uh -huh. Would you do it? So like every every human would have to go through this. Like a chest burster would pop out and Way then fix no, the environment. No, specifically. Just me. You are given the tools oh. to do this, but you have to incubate a chest burster, and they're gonna and everything. And they're gonna pop but out, but be nice. They can just guarantee you, like you're gonna make it. Like you'll make it through. Like they can't guarantee you. Can I do C-section? Can I just have them nope. like cut it's me and then have it pop out? Oh, so it has to tear its way out. It's got to tear its way out as it's, part it's of the like environmental if you open the, yeah, solution. Yeah, open the cocoon, the moth dies. So yeah. Okay, but I live through this. You're gonna live. Right, and, and I'm gonna have like one fix... awesome scar. 
right? amazing. You can and I like saved crazy. the earth. That's also cool. Yeah. Yeah. You I guess I'd kind of have to. Yeah. Would everyone else know that this option is being presented That's to me? To oh. Oh, oh, okay. No, because they, like that would be terrible if they just all like if the whole world tweets at you, fucking do it. Like yeah, that's yeah, awful. Yeah. yeah. Right. But if it's like just, like he just like appears out of the fourth dimension in my apartment and presents this to me, yeah. I'd be like, I might right, be. Actually, extra rule. Nobody, nobody. Uh, there's a chance nobody will believe you, but you do have the means to, to fix climate change. So right. That's fine. So you did that. So even if I did, just, like, you're so like maybe you just, there's, there's no an alien. Yeah. yeah so there's but, no glory behind it. I'm no, a selfish you're fuck. Still, you're still <laughs> fixing the that planet. That sounds painful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nope. No. I mean, they're still young. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, so they haven't dying, passed right? kidney stones yet? Yeah. These guys? Yeah, let's do this. I don't know. Let's do this. Yeah, we deserve this. And That's if I can't great. claim, I just like, ah, I had heart surgery or something. Yeah. 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 My wife's Badass. Mexican. She makes some spicy food. Nice. I'd be like, well, you know, it is taco night. So, right. breathing through the chest. <laughs> Maybe you'd kill the alien, though. That would Get be the true, right? Neutralize them inside of the environment. It's all outside after that stuff. So I like, could, uh, it's just some bad heartburn. I'm just I got some tums. Yeah. So, yeah. Claim if you could like, live tweet it or whatever. Not tweet, I guess. Oh. But if you could just like stream that shit, Facebook would you, uh, it. Would you want it then? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, then shit, yeah. yeah. Then I'd be like, look what I'm doing for okay. you. If you could just live yeah. through a chest bursting and, and live stream it, but you don't get to fix climate change, would you do that too? I think I might. Okay, so he's oh, just in yeah. With a GoPro <laughs> on the alien, so you can see as you bust through from his point of view. So, like, so, so you think this is, this is, is this better or worse than the, uh, the, the stones passing? The chest burster or stone? Which one do you think would, would hurt? I haven't more? had a heart attack yet. Right. So I'm, it's coming. Right. But, uh, sure. So right now I'm not sure. If you're like, the alien comes out of your urethra, you're like, oh, yeah. And I definitely know exactly how that feels. OK. OK. It comes out of your urethra. Just go through it. It's a full, full size? And full now size. you can't live stream it because of Facebook's you're, you're code of conduct. Well, they don't have to, They won't know it's your dick. Oh, that's right. I don't until know. after it's going to get at least a few views. Oh, you'd know it's my dick. Yeah, you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't you have know. any dick yeah. left. I mean, you rip through. Kill yourself on there, your boyfriend. You know, a bigger <laughs> one, a better one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, you sold yourself on <laughs> Six million dollar man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you're the guy who fixed climate change. The president will be like, we're going to get you the biggest dick on the planet. Just for every time you climax, it's like, mana, 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 And it happens in slow motion. That's bad for your wife. That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Let's move on. Oh, those, all right. yeah, I was three songs seconds that were behind made in like uh, yeah. spirit of like, hey, did that dick blow up for us? <laughs> <laughs> There'd be so many. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, the, nice. What color ribbon would we have? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just like shredded pink. It's shredded and, uh, pink with like a pink. <laughs> yeah, It'd right. just be a string of pearls. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That'd do for her. Yeah. <laughs> Tragic. I, Equal opportunity pearls for everyone. Nowadays, so. All right. Well, I don't think we're going to get uh, any better than a string of pearls. Uh, why don't we move on over to our quiz portion of the evening? Um, big round of applause. <laughs> this is the quiz called Can You Survive an Alien Invasion? Uh, round one, I'm going to show these guys uh, Alien Silhouette Challenge. So uh, as uh, they're looking at the iPad, we'll pop it up on screen for you guys to watch at home. So um, you guys have a choice. You can choose whichever alien you want, and you guys can tell me which film that it is from, and we'll go through the whole thing. So I'm we're gonna go through. This shit. So we got it. We got it. So I'll uh, hand you guys, uh, you guys off first. You guys, uh, off to my left is Team One. Off to my right is uh, Team Two. So we're all familiar with uh, the uh, panelists. Names on the bottom. Actually, never mind. I don't recognize Scores <laughs> on the bottom. All right. Okay. So I'm going to hand this off. You guys tell me which letter it is. Which letter is what? G. <laughs> G? I'm going to go with G. G? You're going to go. Yeah. Which alien is that? Mm -hmm. and this uh, is, that. is that Starship Troopers? Correct. Yeah! yeah! Nice. He nice. didn't choose God. a super easy one, That's honestly. Right. That's a tough one. The easy one? Yeah. All right. We'll go with L. Oh, geez. I think that's a E.T. All right. All right. And can you tell me what E.T. stands for, please? Uh, extraterrestrial? That's correct. Mm, that's very good. Good job. Difficult one. Yeah. We, we yep. answered yeah, We almost we had like a gangsta's paradise. It wasn't absolutely there. necessary for alien, you guys to answer other than because the, the movie's name it? was. I think they just called them bugs, so, But right? still. Very good. I think they did. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start weeding down the the. the uh, I, I, so I you, they they took the yeah. easy route. So the question is, are you gonna do the uh, the heavy lifting for them just to show off? See, right. or are you gonna you know? We're gonna go with C. C. Okay. C. And what film is C from? That, that is the old War of the Worlds. That's right. 
I think Rack never would have gotten more than once. Yeah. They're going after some old one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is even sharing the load even, too. Dealing even, the time another limit. Spielberg one, no way. Okay. Wait, was the Spielberg one That's like shit compared to the older one? He was Tom Cruise. I haven't seen it. Isn't that a weird thing when you like, you see a movie that's coming out and you're really excited oh, yeah, to see it and then yeah. you find out Tom Cruise is the lead yeah, and then you kind of have to like you're like mm. yeah Although, God, he's fine I guess why like but for some reason so much? yeah I don't know well because he's a Scientologist so. <laughs> that's I think that's it right I think it's just he's always the same guy like right. no matter what the role yeah, is right. all right we uh, take we'll do K K all right K and that Mars is attacks. Mars attacks that's correct and could you please do your best um, impersonation of uh, the the alien from Mars Taxi, please. The weird one? No, the normal one. I think it should be like a little bit of a bounce to the sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was extra. Oh, that's actually good. That's yeah, that's thank you. No, that was just for fun. That was worth no points at all. All right, so we're going to hand this off to you, gentlemen. Choose another letter. Tell me which alien that is. Um, oh, we'll go with a trivia E, of course. Of course, Predator. Predator, right. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Who was the original actor to play really Predator? Really obscure. Ooh. Does anybody Do you know, know? The original actor to play Predator? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, That's really? right. I didn't yeah. Know that. yeah. Yeah, it is true. I would have gone with Danny Glover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah. I'm too old for this year. That's exactly what <laughs> I thought. Well, he's in the second one. Well, so no, he wouldn't have been that old. He would. Oh, yeah, yeah that would be great. Yeah. He switched it around. Yeah. Jean Claude Van Damme was like, this. This costume is too heavy. Down. Nobody sees my face. Rock. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm yeah. a very handsome man, <laughs> I don't and I do karate, so therefore people should see my face. I don't remember the Predator doing splits. Right. Yeah. In the beginning, he was like Between, jumping like, around from tree to tree. <laughs> I love how they like when, yeah. they, when he was like, "I'm out of here," because he's French. And uh, and they they brought in they brought in somebody else, and they're like, "Belgian is he?" I mean, you, you know your stuff. Nice. The man knows. Um, they brought in like a giant seven foot man. They're just like, "Oh, oh we're wow. gonna replace you with someone much bigger than you." So. Yeah, Jean Claude's like five six or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could so take close. it. There was something a little less sexual about this. <laughs> okay, seven I don't know why guy, I'm staring at oh, right, you. guys yeah. need to stare right, at this. Yeah. What, what, you, you know the We're game by now. What is it? H. Yeah. H? Yeah. Wrong. I'm with H this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Okay. Who, who is H? I think it's uh, Max from Max and Me. Mm, mm. Judges. Or Max and I. <laughs> Mac and me. Oh, nice. Oh, that, my Not Max me. and me. I'm very sorry. I'm doing this thing Seriously? where I'm grabbing my knee the time. I don't know why. I don't. I'm not a guy who grabs his knee. I don't normally do this. I just decided to just start. Oh, looks like something from The Shape of Water. That new movie. It's a new thing I'm doing. I'm gonna stop though. Okay. I feel like I should know that one too. So we gotta go with the one I know. For okay. Me, until we figure out something. Else. Where to go, J? J? Yeah. For sure. Ooh. Okay. okay. That is the day the Earth stood still. Day the Earth stood still. Now, if you wanted to shut off the robot from Day the Earth Stood Still, what would you say? You would have to have seen the movie. Ooh, he doesn't see the movie, <laughs> but he knows what it is. Does I anybody? Yeah. Does anybody know what that is? Class Use a mirror. Frost, you need to. Damn it! I was falls. gonna do that. I was gonna show up. Oh, could yeah, you camera? Is. Could you put it on? Falls. Okay, oh, now <laughs> please pay attention. Okay. What was it? Jeez, could you say the phrase to the camera? Uh, no, I don't remember it. Platu Barada Nikto. Did That's you really right. just come up with that? That's yeah, just yeah. out of my, just made it up on the spot. I just keep that in my back pocket just in case I come across any aliens. You want to have that <laughs> one. And also, it. from Transformers, <laughs> does anybody remember what is the uh, universal greeting? No, I didn't like I'm it. I'm so ashamed roll of myself. Out? I don't know. Yeah, roll out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, re you know, I, I, was, I, was, I, was playing, I was playing a game of high stakes gamble on that. I couldn't really remember myself. It's like, ba wa ga Yes, yes, and then from the audience, from the judge section, what is it? Ba we na we Yeah, ba wa na gip mini bomb. My favorite is the mini bomb at the end. Ba with a ba? What? I believe it's. It's ba with a ba. Da bang, da bang, baby. Da bang, da bang, diggy. Come on, baby. I didn't mean to ump chuck the woogie. Okay, whose turn? It's their turn. It's their turn. You guys are gentlemen. I was almost gonna give it to you. All right, guys. Come on, let's make up for this deficit. Number, the I is Men in Black. Number, number I. Wow, yeah. Is Men in Black. That's correct. Oh, yeah, I'm so ashamed of myself now. We were looking at he's, that one. He's, uh, that. he's cruising around the whole movie in, in a what suit? That human suit? Edgar suit. Edgar suit. Edgar suit. Edgar suit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what I was looking for. It didn't really matter. Yeah. All right, we're yeah. starting to wind it down. We do D. Sure. Is it? Yeah. That's 
What, D is? No, it's alien, isn't it? No, I'm is sorry, it? it's not. It looks oh, alien. that's Independence Day. Ah. Fuck. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to go with that with the one that got up most, most trick. Most trick. Mm. Okay. That's uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, mm, that was that was the least answered one. Can you believe that? Which really? one was that? Yeah, because yeah. I did I did this one at the convention, and oh, that was wow. B. The really least that. answered one was Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, I, I was, thought I was going to say the Teletubbies. The silhouette. Wow. <laughs> that is an alien. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they are <laughs> aliens. Yeah, All right, let's go. We'll we'll try A. All right, let's try A. Of so excellence. the uh, the very unsexual looking one on the side there. A? I'm gonna guess species, because it's at least a human form, and she's a lady. I was gonna mm. guess health. Mm. This is a tough one because this silhouette is actually the only thing that you see in the movie is basically a silhouette of this creature for just a split second oh, okay. on a television screen. Is that the name of the movie? Split second? Yeah. No, no, no. It was a split second. <laughs> you're watching the movie. You're like, where's the aliens? This movie's all about aliens. Where's the aliens? Oh, yeah. Chances and then all of a sudden, this. they go walking signs? past signs. signs. Yeah. That yeah. is. What? You ruined it. Got your steel yeah. hand. All right. Nice. I like that. Still failed the question. Still failed the question. That's true. <laughs> all right. So. Now the game um, is coming out. Here. We, I, it's, it's tied up. Right, I can't, I can't believe that these guys don't know. I am feeling old because of this. No, I got you. It's the last one. Mm -hmm. It's the last one. Right. This, this is the last one, yes. I'll go with F. Well, what are you talking about? That's a critter. Uh, that is a critter. Yeah. Okay. That, okay. Is a critter. that is a critter. That is a darn good. Did you know uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio is that was in Critters? <laughs> now I have no interesting <laughs> trivia to say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's control. fine. That's fine. There was a topless girl, and she pulled a staple out of her stomach because she modeled herself off of a centerfold, which I thought was a pretty funny joke. Oh, that is clever. That was pretty funny. I was like, but the staple would be from the outside, so it would be the round part. So she'd have to like pry it open and then rip it out of her back, which would have been weird. But still, the staple was funny. All right, round two. Let's ask some questions. The first widely publicized alleged alien abduction was in an American couple. Betty and Barney Hill, in what year and which state? Was it A, 1954, Connecticut, B, 1943, New Mexico, C, 1961, New Hampshire, or D, 1972, Colorado? I, I trust you. You know more than I do. I don't. <laughs> We're going to go with uh, B. Yeah, let's go for B. B, 1943, New Mexico? No, I'm sorry, that is not correct. Like as well. It is <laughs> C, 1961, New Hampshire what? was the correct what? answer. That's the one I just yeah. dismissed outright. I'm like, yeah. there's no way. Yeah. New Hampshire. Yeah, New yeah, Hampshire. I was, I was like, that's not the Midwest. New Hampshire. It's definitely not. Yeah. I figured that Connecticut had the least Wait, is amount it? of We, we, we discovered some aliens yeah, when we were driving to the yeah. Smitties. All right, that was terrible. <laughs> Under regression hypnosis, two years after their alleged abduction, Barney Hill described the aliens he encountered. His description was very similar to the aliens which appeared on what television show or movie 12 days prior to his description? Was it A, Twilight Zone, B, Invaders from Mars, C, Star Trek, or D, The Outer Limits? Or the Outer Limits. That we'll is correct. Limits. Outer Ooh. Limits. Yeah. Oh, Very nice. nice. And the scores appear on the screen. In Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the aliens plan to land on what ge geographical location? Is it A, Hoosier Hill, B, Devil's Tower, C, Hawkeye Point, or D, Hell's Canyon? It's B. That is correct. Yeah. It is the Devil's Tower, mm -hmm. which was originally assembled out of what, to prove his point? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Really? I didn't even I didn't even really think I phrased that correctly, but yeah, you oh, got right. what I was yeah. phrasing at, right? Okay, how we nice. go. Why can't an object travel at light speed? A. Because an object approaching the speed of light becomes infinitely heavy and thus requires an infinite amount of work to increase acceleration. B. An object can travel at the speed of light. C. Because when moving at near light speed, tiny particles in space become more powerful projectiles and can tear through any material, destroying any object before attaining the speed. Or B. Because of the effect known as time dilation, which approaching near light speeds acceleration beyond 0.95 C is impossible. 
C because I have forgotten the order of the question. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very good. Solid, but wrong. Uh, it is A. Because an object approaching the speed of light becomes infinitely heavy and thus requires an infinite amount of work to increase acceleration. God, science is dumb. Science <laughs> is dumb. What is the Goldilocks zone? It is oh. the habitable zone around a star within planetary mass objects with sufficient atmospheric pressure that can support liquid water at their surfaces. B, the portion of the Milky Way galaxy which could potentially support Earth-like life. C, the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum a planet must receive to support life. Or D, the distance in which we might mount a manned space travel expedition giving current technology. I think it has to do with the water. The Doesn't atmospheric pressure and water because like, like for the life perfect to be able to spot from the sun to yeah 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 because you don't Earth. it needs to not be right. crazy frozen or super hot and that sounds like the right amount for water to exist and so yeah it, just that's right the Goldilocks right. zone yeah. very good gentlemen is that it? is correct that <laughs> is right. the Goldilocks zone yes that's correct there's also a couple other things that have to balance out for an Earth-like planet to exist you have to have the right amount of size of the planet so it'll be able to have enough uh, gravitational spin to have a liquid center because you need to have a liquid center to keep radiation off of it there's a bunch Jesus. of other stuff. Wow. Jesus, so, yeah, Jesus yeah, helps definitely. a lot. If you can have one. <laughs> to what film did alien buff James McMahon refer when he wrote, it was quite ridiculous that none of the characters faced a gigantic extraterrestrial creature striding through New York, didn't put the camera down at least once. Was it A, Killer Clown from Outer Space, B, Cloverfield, C, Battlefield Earth, or D, Starship Troopers? Cloverfield, I'm taking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew, uh, Cloverfield. Correct, you guys get it there, that's correct. Next question. In 1977, the Voyager 1 and 2 space probes were launched with the Golden Voyager records, gramophone records with sounds and images meant to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth to an extraterrestrial life or to future humans. Which of the following is not included in this time capsule of Earth? A. A drawing of DNA. B, classical music including Chuck Berry. C, anatomical nude drawings. Or D, classical and modern music including the Rolling Stones. I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't put but the they Rolling Stones. Hated the Rolling Stones too. I, I, yeah, I'm leaning towards Chuck Berry was in it. So, yeah. so Rolling Stones was not. That is correct. Oh, Woo! Rolling Stones yeah. were not included. All right. right. Okay. So the last multiple choice question All to right. you guys. Which description matches the type of alien most described by people from South America who claim to have been abducted? Is it A, short, green-skinned, disproportionately long-limbed aliens? Is it B, short, gray-skinned with large black eyes and no apparent nose? C, various bizarre creatures including hairy monsters? Or D, tall, blonde, and silvery aliens? Uh, the grays. Like That's your final answer? <laughs> I think it's the hairy, there's a multiple <laughs> array of chupacabra. So, so which is it, guys? Let's, the it's paper, rock, scissors? Is that a Wendigo? No, <laughs> paper, rock, scissors? Paper, paper, rock, scissors? Is that, no, paper, uh, rock, scissors, because I have I think it's... I'm old, it's Rochambeau. Rochambeau. <laughs> no, then you win. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. yeah. I still want one uh, kid. <laughs> all right, so what's in your final answer? The grays. The grays. Yeah. No, you're, you're down with the guy. All right, so let's start off with the uh, multiple choice questions. Are you gentlemen ready? All right. All right, this may decide the game. Who knows? Huh. All right. Yeah, for the win. For the win. <laughs> what does SETI stand for? Fill in the blank. Do you guys know what SETI stands for? Do you know what SETI stands for? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, was like, is that a cute way to refer really to the set? <laughs> Go ahead, you guys. The uh, search for extraterrestrial intelligence? Correct. The search for extra extraterrestrial intelligence is correct. War of the Worlds was originally published in 1898 and was a novel written by what famous sci-fi writer? Well, if you know. It was a book. Then. I didn't even know it was released then. I, Are you playing a game with us, Meow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, it's yeah. H.G. Wells. H.G. Yeah. Yeah. The following statement regarding the possibility of intelligent aliens visiting Earth was made by what prominent theoretical physicist? If aliens visit us, the outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans. We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop into something we wouldn't want to meet. Uh, Stephen Hawking. That's correct. Stephen Hawking is correct. 
And Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, disagrees with him. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I always, yeah, I, I don't know. I never know this how to feel about that. that like, it's like that game Civilization. You ever play right. like, a computer game? Mm -hmm. like, if you're all like stuck on fighting, like, right. you're, the other guy gets to space. Mm. So if the person, if uh, extraterrestrial intelligence came to visit us, they've already advanced beyond a lot of, I guess, like social or soci okay. societal. Yeah, kind of that, I think that, that makes sense with. mathematically. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh. Uh. So it's like your big brother. Like he's yeah. big enough, she's like, just stop it. And right. we're just doing this shit. Basically, just, like yeah. they would be, yeah. or evolve beyond like where we're still kind of like that. stranded at. Let's hope. Next fill in the blank question. What was the name of the project undertaken by the U.S. Air Force from 1952 to 1970 to investigate UFOs to determine if they were a threat to national security? I am so out of my league here. Real thing. Really <laughs> existed. I have an answer. It's probably wrong. I bet Frank, in the, I bet Frank in the booth I knows it. Do you know it? <laughs> Why, yes, I do. I bet he did. I bet he doesn't. Do you, guys, do you guys want to guess? No, Foo Fighters? It's Foo Fighters, that's right. Really? No, no, it's not the Foo Fighters. <laughs> what is it, Frank? Dude, you just, I thought you were just about Project to blow my mind. Project Blue Book. <laughs> Project Blue Book, that is right. Nice. Don't I know my, I know my, I know my guys the in the I booth. Think. They know their stuff. Okay. I bet even Glenn knew that, right? Sure, why not? Is that before yeah, or yeah, after we'll the Kelly Blue that. Book, where we'll people like, we're going to name, we're going to price <laughs> yeah, cars exactly with the same name exactly with now. the same yeah. name. I don't know. That is an interesting thing. Oh, yeah. mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, and in the, uh, the movie Ex Machina, when they have to come up with a surrogate for Facebook, don't they call it Blue Book? Well, that's a I nice don't little know. Easter egg. That's a nice little Easter egg. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody find out. And I got Amazon. And write Prime. in the comment section, yeah. and then we'll have one comment in one of my videos. It'll be great. <laughs> All right. Um, no, it's you guys, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. <clears throat> Alien theorists often speculate that the giant figures on which Polynesian island are evidence of extraterrestrials landing long ago on that island. The figures of the island. Uh, what the is the name of the island? island? Yeah, mm. it's Easter Island. That's Anunnaki. Nice. The aliens, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Is that the name what? of the aliens? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. This is the Pretty right crowd shit. for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Next fill in the blank question. What 1951 alien film classic that proposed from outer space a warning, an ultimatum, was remade in 2008? Oh, yeah. That was the one we guessed. So, uh, the day the Earth stood still. That's right. Yeah. Because Keanu Reeves had to do it better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I love the theory of Keanu Reeves and the reason why he does such a good job in um, acting in action movies. You probably heard this one, right? The yeah. masking eth effect, have you heard that one? Yeah. That like, he, he's got so much dead expression, there's no way you could disagree with that, you know? You're like, oh, okay. yeah, it's like when you, watch, when you watch a Nicolas Cage movie and he's like, -wah -de -wah -wah! <laughs> and you're like, I wouldn't react that way, you know? Right. It's like, Once you're God pulls, you, Cage, pulls you a little bit out of the performance maybe, Cause, so you can't necessarily see yourself, but like Keanu Reeves just being like, whoa. You're like, I would be astonished at you're, that. You're yeah, Maybe even more it. so than that. You get to so. read in it to whatever you, you think it means. Right, so right. Just, oh, he's perpetually that. surprised. And right, it's so right. believable every time. You're like, I get it. Yeah, like, I get like, it. This is like I bet he really doesn't movie. know what's yeah. going on. I just like for some Tom reason. Carter acts the same in every movie. <laughs> Seems <laughs> like so authentic. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. What 1996 alien film featured Martians destroying Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, Taj Mahal, Easter Island, and Mount Rushmore? Was it Independence Day? Oh, I'm sorry, it's not Independence Day. It's Mars Attacks. Day. Yeah, yeah. Mars Attacks. Oh, yeah. But you said that one first, so you yeah, guys didn't yeah. get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> that way you guys did it to each other now, so yep. that's fine. Hey. It's even. Right. Okay. <laughs> Those are my two guesses. I was leaning toward Mars Attacks. Were you doing Independence right. Day? Well, he said Martians. Oh, okay, so. good. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I guess that wraps oh. things up. That was right. a big round of applause for our winners. Yeah, good job, guys. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Congratulations, our big winners. Thank you. Very good. Really good. All right, well, uh, cool. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching the game. A uh, big round of applause for all of our comedians tonight. I'm I'm definitely your host, Tristan Spillman. No one else. And um, uh, we're going to start with a big circle of applause for Chris Smith. <laughs> Where can we see you next, Chris? Uh, thank you. Uh, you can see me. I, I, I do comedy all over Portland. It's my job to please you orally. I host, 
uh, a monthly show at Sanctuary in Portland, Laphrodisiac. I host a show at Northwest Cannabis Lounge called Blazed and Amused, and starting a new open mic at Splash Bar. Thank you. Uh, let's get a big square of applause for Stephen Ty. Where can we see you next, Stephen? Uh, you can check out my dates at stephentycomedy.com. That's Stephen with a V, T Y E, as well as Twitter and Instagram at Stephen Ty Comedy. And check me out on YouTube and check out my podcast on iTunes, The Infinity Curtain. Um, uh, let's get a. Let's get a good triangle of applause for Robert Gresham. Where can we see you next, Robert? Uh, I'm going to be on one of Chris's Laphrodisiac shows uh, when he confirms it. <laughs> and uh, you can also check out my uh, upcoming dates on uh, my Facebook page, uh, Robert Gresham on Facebook. Look, look for the ear. And uh, you can find my uh, science fiction books on uh, waywardrogues.com. Uh, it's about aliens, Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Kind of pertinent to what we were talking about tonight. Let's get a, a rhombus of applause for Daniel Dagris. <laughs> no one knows. Uh, just check me out at uh, DanielDagris.com and uh, come vote for me at Funniest Person this summer. That would be awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you all for coming down to Tristan's Film and Show. Give me my jacket. No! Give me my jacket. <laughs>